Hi everyone, my name is Jennifer Ruiz. I'm also known as Exquisite Beauty MUA here on YouTube and on Instagram and Facebook as well. This is the first time I am doing a video and also I am going to be reviewing today the BoxyCharm. And this is actually my first subscription, but this is actually from March. We're a little middle of May of May of April, but better late than never, right? So I'm going to be doing the first impressions on what's inside, what my thoughts are about it. It is my first time getting one. I was very excited because I know that there were five full-size items that they actually offer. So let's get started. What the first thing you see is you see the box and you have a coupon from Butter London. It's a 25% off on your next purchase of $50. And then you get a card that actually explains all the products, how much they are listed as, as the full size. And I already did my brows and I primed my eyelids and I set them. But that's all I did because I wanted to try everything on camera, see how I liked it. I did open it just to kind of see what was inside because I was so excited to get a package from BoxyCharm. But that's all I did. I really didn't go and use anything. Everything is still brand new. I hadn't, I hadn't done this video yet because I was taking my time on setting up my vanity, organizing everything, and also with the camera and the setup and lighting and what I was going to do. So that's why I hadn't done the video just yet. But Anyway, okay, so I have been seeing these. They are the self-made eye gel packs. They reduce puffiness, reduce dark circles, and moisturizes eye area. So what it says on the back is that the under eye gels, the, you have to thoroughly cleanse your eye area, apply this product under the eye, and then leave on for 30 minutes to reduce the puffiness and dark circles, which I actually have. I didn't get too much sleep last night. I went to sleep late trying to organize everything. And it says use promptly after opening for best results use for three consecutive days, which there's actually three in here. So I will probably look at this in about three days when I'm using it consecutively to see how the area actually looks. And this one is actually listed as a $10 product. And let's try them on. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to put this one on first while I do my eye makeup. That way we can actually see how it looks by the end of the video. So let's see. So they are three inside. So let's just open one up. Ooh, there is, <laughs> there's like a water type of liquid in here. So let's actually, ooh. They're really jelly-like. I wasn't expecting all that. So let's try to put this under and see if it'll stick. It feels really cool on the skin. Oh, they are very slippery. I don't know if this actually is going to stay under the eye. But it does give you the great line for when you want to do your wing liner. <laughs> It feels so cool and refreshing. It feels really good. Just want to feel like you want to give yourself a massage. They're really slippery though. I don't know if I like that. Like you have to be laying down with this, I think, and just kind of relaxing. Maybe with a glass of wine. One of the other things that we got on here is from Vintage Cosmetics. And there's three brushes in here. It's called the Smoky Eye Brush Set. And this one is, it's listed at an MSRP for $23.15. The Brush Set Trio will enable you to create a stunning smoky eye. We'll be the judge of that. Let's open them and take a look. So these are synthetic brushes 
and it actually tells you on the brushes how to use them. So if like you're a first timer to use brushes or you have a little niece or somebody who wants to use um, makeup brushes, it's pretty cute. On there, which I thought that the makeup brushes were kind of cute because in here, they actually sent us a eye palette, eyeshadow palette. I was very excited because when I opened this, I had no idea who it was from. And then when I opened it, it's a BoxyCharm Pure Palette, which I have never actually tried Pure Cosmetics before. So I was very excited to get this. So this one is listed at $36. It's your tra transitional palette can be used now or later to bring vibrancy back into your look. Our signature silky smooth ultra mattes are paired with pretty pinks and a vibrant blue to brighten the mood. Plus, you can layer shimmery shades for a dual chrome finish. And that is the Pure the Complexion Authority. So it actually came with this little film. And I thought it was really cute because it comes with a mirror and a little film to protect the shadows. Now, you know that new cardboard smell like you sometimes get in shoes? I think that would like best explain it. That's what it, the, the shadows smell like. That's a moment. <laughs> so the colors are stunning. They are beautiful. Um, that blue, that pink, it's like very spring-like. I love them. And the names are pretty cute too. The top one, it's called Perfect Nakey. They're stunning shadows. So let's get started and see what kind of look we come up with. And let's use the brushes to see how these work. They're... I've never tried vintage cosmetics either, so actually use them in the order that they say which you can kind of see that that first one is more like a packing brush I would say so it, this one's supposed to be a shadow brush but I don't know I kind of want to put on a all around shade first but let's try it and see how it works. I'm gonna actually zoom you in a little bit better so we can see how the eye makeup is gonna look. Okay, so let's do that. I'm just going to grab, let's do Nakey. It's this color right here. Let's try to grab it with this, see how it works. I'm not, gonna, I'm not so sure how this is gonna dust it off. Eh. I think it's its usual, like, Yeah, I feel like this is like a little, st like it doesn't want to do what I want it to do. I kind of want to do like an all around color first. Let me use, I'm going to use a Morphe. It's the 441. There we go. And 441. This is the tip. It's just like an all around blending brush, which is just kind of what I want it to do for right now. That way we have like an all around. Oh, look, it's just slipping off. Put the look on there. Okay. It does have a lot of loose product when you are trying to get some shadow. Just gonna do it on both eyes. These things keep like slipping off. You really have to be like laying down and not doing anything. Cause they just seem to like come right off. All right. So let's do some more of Nikki. I think it's like kind of taking a little while to get the depth of the color that you want. 
And I'm gonna take a little bit of the bell color. That's this color right here. See if we can kind of put in a little more depth into that. I'm gonna put that more into my crease. So you can start darkening up that area right there. It's using the same Morphe brush. I swear I can't get that smell like from the shadows. They smell like, I don't know, it's like a weird smell. Let's see, what color should we go with? There's a good variety of colors here. What should we use? I kind of feel inspired by my shirt today. It kind of has like pinks and blues so let's do this one we can actually use one of these brushes that we got i'm gonna use the second one so let's go in with this color right here it's called bff and let's do this outside And just remember, as you're laying these things, the eyeshadows down, just blend. Try not to put in too much because it's a pink, purplish, plum color. I just don't want to mess it up. Kind of doing like a half moon on the outer eye. That way we could lay out a different color towards the front. I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. This is like a good brush to kind of put it, put the eyeshadow on there. But then I think afterwards we're going to go in with like a blending brush just to kind of get the colors all in smoothly and with each other. Let me grab. This is the Morphe, the Morphe 505, and it just has a fluffy end. That way we can kind of get all these colors meshed in with each other. And that blue is like really popping out. Huh? It's called MIA. That's this color down at the bottom there. It's a really pretty shimmery blue. It's going with uh, with my shirt. I think I'm gonna use that one and the, like the first inner part of my eye. Probably take it all the way back and then blend it in with that pink. It just keeps sliding off. We're just gonna. Let them do whatever they want to do. Well, next time I know that you're kind of supposed to be laying down and relaxing while you do these. So these things are not good while doing your makeup. That's for sure. Well, that's how we learn things, right? We test them out, try them out, see how it works. If it doesn't, just do it differently next time. It's a beautiful color. Glittery. So, let's see how it works on the eye. I'm gonna lay down a base. I feel like it's going to need it. It is a little patchy. I'm gonna grab the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. This, I use this a lot for like to lay down as a base. I'll use this to lay down as a base for when I am going to use a shadow like this or something that's probably not as opaque, as deep. That's the word I'm looking for. Yeah, I guess. So I'm going to lay this down towards the front of my eye. I am going to use a Morphe. It's an E19. And we're just going to use this to kind of keep this as clean as possible. And then we can actually try to use one of the other brushes, which this was the first one from the BoxyCharm. This one was from the Vintage. Let's see if we could use this as like a packing brush. 
to lay down the shadow. Wow, that's a lot. Okay, let's try it and see how it goes. Ooh. So yeah, let's just keep on packing this color on there. It looks so pretty. So I think that base really helped out to lay down the color. That is really pretty. And I'm just going to go back in with that BFF color. It's the purpley color just to kind of blend in the edges. So this is the third brush from the Vintage Cosmetics kit. And this is kind of like a little... I would use this more for... Maybe to put it, put eyeshadow on the brow bone, maybe to highlight. And we're just going to use that bone color up on the top of the palette. It's it called Perfect. Let's do the other side. We might use something else to highlight <clears throat> in the brow bone because it's not really doing what I want it to do. And just to put some more in the inner corner. So I am going to do my other eye the same way I did on this side. Let me just do it off camera so it's a little bit quicker. And I will be right back. So we finished the eye look for now. I am also going to do a winged liner. I have to admit, when I was doing my other eye, I was like, wow, this is a really, really weird combination. But... I told myself that this year I'm going to be stepping a little bit more out of my comfort zone, trying something new, so this is definitely trying something new. I've heard Jaclyn Hill actually say, if you're going through an eye look, even if you don't like how it looks midway, just pull through, finish through, and see how it looks at the end. If you don't like it, then whatever, it's makeup, you can wipe it away. Um, so I am going to use my e.l.f. liquid liner. This bad boy only costs about three bucks. And I am going to use it, and it's in jet black. So we're going to try this, see what type of eyeliner day we're going to get today. Hopefully it's a good one. Hopefully they look somewhat alike. So, let's see. Fingers crossed. I think that looks pretty good for the one side. Actually putting the look a little bit together, I think. And it's been about 30 minutes, so let's take these off before I continue. They look very hydrated, very moisturized. Alright, so let me try and get the other side to look like this side. That is the trick. And I think that... Let me see, because I still need to fix the bottom of it. You start looking at both eyes to see if they look alike. Sometimes I'll walk with my eyeliner this way on one side and the other one up here. So sometimes I don't have the time and I'm just like, whatever, I'll walk into the house like that. And people are like, oh my god, your eyeliner looks so good. And I'm like, really? Like, one's up here, the other one's that way. But okay. <laughs> I think that's as good as we're going to get for right now. Um, just because I don't want to mess it up. I mean, it looks okay. Each one looks in its own individual way. way. I guess it's like, in my case, my dogs. Each one is unique in its own way, but I love them both. <laughs> I'm just going to end up leaving it alone. And I'm actually going to put some more blue on the outer right here because I wanted to reach all the way to the eyeliner. So I'm just going to take a makeup wipe because this blue shadow was very sparkly. So I kind of have a lot of fallout down at the bottom. I just clean like the inner corners. 
I'm just going to take my Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette because that one has just a awesome brabo that I love. It's called Tempera and as you can see it's that corner one. It is very used and abused. So let me just use that other brush that was in the Boxy Charm kit and I'm going to use that. And let's continue with the face. We also have a blush and a mascara left in our boxy charm. So I am going to do my face makeup. I'm going to use the Poreless Face Primer. This one's by e.l.f. And it comes in this bottle right here. I believe this guy might have been five bucks, if I'm not mistaken. It does have a funny smell to it, but I find this that this is a good dupe for the higher brands. I tried one by Tatcha, it was actually really good. I just didn't like some of the ingredients that it had, but this one does have a different smell, of course. I guess that's what you get for your money's worth. Oh, okay, I'm gonna put this all over the face. Trying to think what it smells like. Kind of like a vapor rub. You know, the Vicks. Next, I am going to use the foundation by Sephora. It's the Tent Infuse, and this is in the number 29. I believe that these have been discontinued, and it's just kind of the dropper effects like that. So. I'm going to take my Morphe. Okay, so I will take my foundation and I will just kind of put it all over. Um, sometimes what I'll do is I'll mix in some of the Farsali Rose Gold Elixir. Everybody, I'm sure by now, knows about these. Most going around, usually on like Instagram, on the videos you see there are the uh, Unicorn Essence, and I believe that they have a new one going on as well. So I'll just take some of this and I'll just put like a drop, two or three drops on my face, just because it's very moisturizing and it's very hydrating. And then I'll just mix that in with my foundation. Next, what I will grab is my ColourPop No Filter. I'm not even gonna show you this because there is no lettering <laughs> left on it. This is a Golden 40. I love these concealers. They work awesomely. I am using the Real Techniques sponge that has actually the dome at the end and then a flat end on the bottom. So let me go wet that. I love using these, so I'm just going to put that much. And what I like doing is doing one eye at a time because with me it actually creases up very quickly. So I am going to use the dome end of it and just start pouncing. Good. And I'll just do one eye and then I'll actually set this right away. So what I use to set my under eye, I will use the RCMA No Color Powder. Now, I actually bought this container on Amazon, and I will use the flat side of it, and I will just put that in there, and I will set my under eye. And I really don't like baking, what I'll do is that I'll leave it on for that side just for a little bit while I finish my concealer on this side and I just brush it right off. So put a little bit right here just to kind of balance out my face. I don't like putting too much. I am going to use the E3, and this one is just like a fluffy end, like that, and 
I'll just use that to just dust off all the powder. I'm going to use the pressed powder by ColourPop and I forgot which color it is that I use. I will double check it and I will put it in the link below. So with the same one that I actually just used to brush everything off, I'll grab some and I will put it in the places where you usually contour. I just tend to like to use this for just to warm up my face a little bit because when I put on that powder, I find it that it, it makes me look very washed out, I would say. All right, going to try the blush that was in the Boxy Charm. This one is by Pretty Vulgar, and this one is in the color Prime Vixen. Now, this one is listed as $26, so what you're paying for the Boxy Charm, I think, is really worth it because you're paying $21 for five full size products, which I think is very good. And you get to try out different brands that you haven't or normally wouldn't even want to try to buy. It makes you step out of your little comfort zone a little bit. This color is a little bit deeper than I usually wear. I won't usually wear something this pink. But that's what 2018 is all about. Trying new things. Which I think it looks pretty. Just a little bit. I don't want to on too much. Let's use a highlight. We're going to use the Jaclyn Hill. That's the Becca. This is the palette that she had. And we're going to take Champagne Pop. And I'm going to use my Morphe the E13. This is just a fan brush that we're going to use. highlight and I am going to do my eyeliner I think we're just gonna do like a black liner um this is the Smashbox always sharp waterproof coal liner put that in our waterline so I finished blending in the three powders and I did put some brow gel on my eyebrows that way we can get those in place the last item in the boxy charm was the double decker. This is a mascara, and this one is listed on here for twenty dollars. It's the double decker lashes mascara. So we're just gonna try to put that on. Really, just put two coats on. That way, it won't be too clumpy. But I guess that's how we figure out if the mascara is good. I'm going to use the Smashbox Photo Finishing Primer Water. I love, 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 love this water to finish putting on my makeup. Put that all over the face. And for my lip, I'm going to use the ColourPop Lippy Sticks. And this is in Parker. So guys, basically in a nutshell, I think that the Boxy Charm was an awesome idea to whoever created that to have four to five full-size products. You could try new things out, try new brands, see how you like them. You might end up falling in love with them. And that's definitely something that I wanted to try. That's why I waited so long to do this video, even if it is like mid-April. But hey, late is better than never. I had a great time trying out all these new things and making my first video for the time, first time. Trying out all these different products for the first time. So a lot of first times today. But I'm really excited for this journey ahead, trying out new things on the channel, letting you know on some tips that I have. You always learn something new from somebody, even if sometimes you know a lot of things. There is always something new you could learn, a different way to do it in, and I'm hoping that I can do this on the channel. Again, guys, thank you for watching this. If you did like this video, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel that way i will be trying to put on some new content every week at least a couple times a week i'm hoping for and always be thankful always be grateful and i will see you guys on the next time all right bye